Hi everybody, welcome to the Cozy Hermitage craft room. My name is John, though I'm not at the Cozy Hermitage and I'm not in my craft room. I'm outside at a Thousand Trails campground by Newport, Oregon on the coast. Pretty nice here, I have a nice spot. Right now it's kind of, it's not raining. It's kind of misty, so everything's a little bit wet. <laughs> but it's not, you know, it's not soaking wet, it's just a little damp not too bad it's nice enough to sit outside so hopefully you can hear me hopefully the microphone's working anyway this is Tuesday so I'm doing my update uh, is it going yeah okay so I I've been knitting quite a bit I don't have that out here with me because I don't want my yarn to get wet so um, but I've been knitting more Knitting while we're driving places, and knitting sitting there watching YouTube videos on the TV, and, and uh, yeah, it's kind of kind of fun Sit, sitting out here and knitting. People stop and ask me what I'm making, and so it's kind of kind of a way to meet people. It's kind of and it's it's enjoyable, enjoyable talking. You learn more about what other people are going through and what they're doing. So. Um, let me see. I've been watching Crafty Clegg's Creations. She seems to be doing something almost daily for the month of March. And um, I really I really enjoy her YouTube content, her YouTube videos. And she, she has a lot of projects. She does uh, sewing and crochet and quilting and knitting and all kinds of stuff. And she cast on a emotional support chicken and I was actually thinking of doing the same thing so I think I'm going to I just have to pick out the yarn and uh, I'm gonna read through the pattern I have the pattern already it's on my good notes on my iPad so I'm gonna look through the pattern again and see what I need to do and what size needles and what kind of yarn and kind of see if I can figure it out. I'm not a very good knitter. I'm not a very good crafter in general, but I just, I, I like to give it a go. So hopefully I'll, you know, I'll probably learn some new things doing this chicken. So we'll see. I also have a pattern for these little, little, little chickens. So it's kind of cool. <laughs> I might try, might try that. Well, that might be too hard because <laughs> it's little, but we'll, we'll see. But I, if I make an emotional support chicken, it'll be for my wife first because she needs emotional support because she's married to me. <laughs> and uh, then maybe I'll make one for myself. And uh, yeah. And I was watching Martin on Knit365. And he's doing the, uh, uh, what is it? Cough, cough, cough. I don't know, then knit along with the people who make the dolls, that make the doll kits and stuff. And uh, that would be fun, but I'm just, I'm just not at that level as far as crochet goes. And, and I'm still, I haven't figured out how to get beyond anything other than the chain stitch and maybe hooking them together. So I, I would love to do one of those. That would be so much fun. And uh, I can't remember which doll he's doing. I know the Jeanette from the Crafty Clinic is doing the Beatrix Potter doll. I really like that doll. That looks that looks that looks really nice. It looks really cool. So maybe I'll maybe that will spur me on to learn how to crochet better. Um, I don't know if you've been watching the, the videos on, you know, I've been posting about the, you know, where we've been, the ocean and the, kind of the sights and kind of know what it's been like. And it's, it's really been fun. I was trying to find a yarn shop, you know, a local, locally owned, not a chain store yarn shop around here, but I, I haven't really found one yet that just does yarn, which is what I'm kind of was looking for. And I was thinking on my trips, you know, I could 
I could buy a skein of yarn from a local dyer and knit it like a scarf or a shawl or something and then you know each place we went to I'd buy another skein of yarn from from another local dyer and just kind of keep adding to it and make like a like a knitted travel log of where we you know, where we've been. But I don't know, that might be I don't know. I'll I'll think about that some more. Because right now I'm still making my my scarf that just is gonna keep going until I die. <laughs> yeah. Well um Gosh, I don't know what else to talk about. I'm not in my craft room. I do have some things that have come in the mail, but I think they're all train related, and I don't think you guys would be interested in seeing what I've bought in that way. <laughs> um, but, well, I'm kind of spending too much money, so I'm kind of trying to slow down on my spending a bit and just use the yarn I have so emotional support chicken I, I would probably spend money on yarn for the um, we had we've had chickens before and my wife had a chicken that was her favorite and that would follow us around and jump in the car with us and all that stuff and then uh, my daughter and son-in-law came over one day with their dog and the dog killed the chicken. So my wife was very upset. So I'm thinking I was trying to make the chicken in those colors. So this is kind of spurring me on to make this chicken because I think I think she might like it. She might actually like something that I make for a change. So I gotta get a picture of the chicken and I, I know we have pictures of her somewhere. So then uh, I'll have to kind of go from colors from there and see what I can get. Um, yeah, I need to I need to look at the pattern and see what what weight yarn it takes and all that and make sure I have the needles for it and everything. I'm pretty sure I have the needles, the straight needles. I can't remember whether I brought my chow gu interchangeable set or not with me. I think I did. Yeah, so I don't know. I like the the boy needles and the and I'm kinda I'm liking the prim needles now too. They're really nice. And that's, and that's what I've been using for my my forever scarf. And and I also like the chow goo chow goo needles. Um I have an interchangeable set, and I also have, before I bought the interchangeable, or before my wife got me the interchangeable set for Christmas one year, I was buying the, you know, the, the needles that were attached with the red, with the red wire, and I really liked those, those were really nice, and then, and the interchangeable came along, and, and I liked those too, um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping the chicken will, will let me use the straight needles. I kind of enjoy working with those. So, a big motorhome just went by pulling an orange Volkswagen bug, an old one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so that's gonna, so I'm hoping to get started on the chicken here. Either when we get back or or if I if we go to a Joanne's or something, and I find I find yarn appropriate for the chicken, then I'll I'll start it I'll start it sooner. But right now, it's kind of looking like it'll be a when we get back home project. So yeah, and yeah, we've been having fun traveling around. I mean, we we like to go to the um, thrift stores and the Goodwills and all that stuff and see what kind of stuff they have over on this side in Oregon and everything. And then we go to the beaches and my wife likes to go to uh, 
Um, though, uh, I don't know, there's particular places along the beach that have, uh, you can find agates in and you can find petrified clams and stuff. And that's kind of fun for her to go find those. She sits there and she'll stand in the, there's like little rivers that run down, really shallow rivers that run down through the sand and go into the ocean. And she'll stand in those for hours looking for agates and interesting rocks and stuff and she really enjoys that and uh, I tried doing that and I, I can't tell they just look like little blobs to me and I can't I can't tell what an egg it is from <laughs> well I knew that would happen my wife called me <laughs> and interrupted my video so I can't remember where I was but um, oh yeah the yeah she can still stand out there in the water for quite a while looking for agates and stuff and I can't see anything else. like that um, so her and my son usually go down there and we'll look for stuff like that. And now she has a, one of those electric e-bikes and she zips around on those all over the place. So she hasn't really, she's pretty much stayed around the campground and she has gone zipping up and down the beach a few times with the dog running beside her and, and the dog seems to like that. Um, right now we're having, my wife says there's some trouble with the truck. And last time we were here last year, there was a there was a mechanic on site. He was just camping here, and, and they kind of liked him being here because people would have him fix their trailers or motorhomes or cars, or whatever it needed to be fixed. And I don't think he's still here, but I want to see if they have if they know of a mobile mechanic that can come out and look at our truck. Uh, I mean, my wife thinks I can fix it, but <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> and these new trucks, I mean, it's, sure, it's a 2001 Ford pickup, but it, it's hard to get into the engine to do stuff in these newer vehicles. And, you know, if it was a 1940s through 1970s, I could probably work on it. And uh, I have worked on those, and I enjoy it working on those because you can see everything you can touch everything everything's there you can sit inside the engine compartment and work on whatever you need to work on I've done that before and and they're fairly simple simple machines to work on but I hate working on these newer machines I can't so my son's a mechanic and and uh, usually he'll do stuff for us but you know he's he's on the other side of the state and in a different state so he's not gonna be able to come here and do that so and he's work, works a regular job anyway so he's a truck driver now um, so anyway where was I yeah um, yeah so that's that's the deal with the truck so I'm, I'm waiting to see waiting for someone to come back to the to the check-in booth so I can ask them if they, because last time I asked them, they had some numbers and they had a person that would fix a fix truck. So I'm well, waiting for someone to get back so I can go ask them if they still have someone in line for fixing vehicles. We'll see, you know, traveling mechanic or something. So, uh, let me see. Well, I think I've probably talked long enough now. I don't really have any crafty things to talk about. I don't have... Yeah. I think next time, next time, yeah. Uh, I think next Tuesday I'll be back home. Back at the Hermitage in the craft room. And, uh... Talk a little bit more, so... Yeah, thank you for thank you for watching and all oh, and we and uh, as of a couple of minutes ago we have I have 41 subscribers which is more than I had last time and we'll see if these 41 stick with me and like I said when we get to 50 I'll have a I'll have a giveaway gift away or whatever whatever you've got to call them now and uh, have to find some kind of prize giveaway. Um, so yeah, uh, 
It might be a yarn prize. It might be a fabric prize. We'll, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. You know, if you're if you're liking the content on here, I wouldn't necessarily subscribe if all you're interested in is the ocean videos because it's kind of a short-term thing while we're camping. <laughs> but if you like the other stuff, which I don't know what it what my other content really is, but just me babbling away. But if you like that kind of thing, then please, you know, subscribe. Just give me a thumbs up. And, you know, drop me a comment. Let me know what kind of stuff you'd like to see. And uh, see what I can do. So, anyway, thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you, I'll talk to you later. Bye.